Alrighty, thank you. Grand day, everyone. Grand day, grand day, grand day. Or oh, maybe I should just play it right away. Grand rising, grand afternoon, grand evening, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome to another edition of the Wills Lounge AMAs, which I have tagged at the Community Education Series because that is what we're here doing. We're giving out all the information, we're allowing our investors process, we're just basically prepping and priming, priming everybody for when all of these things that we're talking about come to life. People are already familiar with the protocols. People already know how to key into the protocols. People know how to handle, manage this protocols. And I'll just do a quick recap on what we talked about last week. Last week was majorly uh, the focal point of our conversation was store of value, right? The city of Atlantis' financial systems having store of value as a core as a core uh, functionality within it. So we talked about the aquifer LMS and everything that it contains from the DEX to the service vault to the treasury, all of those relationships. And now they will work together to create a very, very strong uh, liquidity, liquidity management system, which in essence is what we are calling the store of value, short SV. So going forward, if you see anything like SV in our write-ups, just know that it is store of value. It is a very, very interesting system of things. I mean, investors are getting access to mechanisms through which they are going to be earning stable returns on their investment. They are going to be having a background token, which is the Aqua B, like a powerhouse, such that even when the when the Aqua, although their investments are not exposed to the growth of the aqua token directly because that token is the powerhouse of the entire ecosystem they are reaping a lot of indirect benefits from it and the reason why that is is so that sentiments do not affect that because one thing that you want to do is that with whatever it is you're building right you want to ensure that there's a foundation that is rock solid that will not be affected by the waves right by sentiments by just things that are occurring something that is strong and so strong that you are the one managing it and you're steering it in the direction in the exact direction that you want it to go so that is the aqua token and of course like i just said investors are going to be reaping a lot of benefits from its appreciation we're looking at a lot of things that we are going to be able to use that store of value not just in the aqua but the busd treasury too we are We've created this mechanism in such a way that these two are being fed consistently. We are creating ways through which they are receiving more than they will be giving out, especially when um, all of the use cases of the city of Atlantis are fully built. Those are going to actually be powerhouses for the entire ecosystem. So if we're not here last week, I want to get more deep insights into all of these um, conversations. Please refer to last week's AMA. Uh, Easy did do a great job of going deep into it and doing a lot of, you know, explanations. Please do that. Uh, today is going to be very, very interesting. Today is going to be exciting. We have been expecting this for a while. So we have a two, two-faced uh, presentation rollout today. So Easy will be coming in. He'll be giving us a, a, a bit of an update on where he is right now. There is not a lot of, should I say, alpha coming from Easy so much today, but he's just going to be giving us updates on where he is with uh, work right now and what he'll be taking us into taking us through during next week's AMA. And then on the other side of things, we'll be having our chief products officer and uh, structural architect, structural engineer. What other title could I give Xavier? <laughs> Just cover what do you mind? He'll be coming on to give us a, hmm, what's the word to use? A foray, right? <laughs> Into what the should I say template for the city of Atlantis metaverse is and by when I say template, I do mean template. Um everything that we're creating right now will they are not in any way in even in, they're not through mid development yet, right? So these are the first level schematics see them that way they are the first level sketches these things have not necessarily been texturized in any way they're just going to give us a direction of what we are building and basically what 
could be when it is now texturized. So it, it leaves a lot to the imagination. Okay, imagine this actually being texturized. Imagine this having a lot of utility on it. Imagine this being functional and individuals, investors being able to go into VR to actually experience all of this. It's going to be so, so beautiful. So that is going to come at the later end of tonight's conversation. So very quickly, not to take your time, I will be inviting Easy on right now to just give us that uh, quick summary that he has for us. Easy, please. Hey, Grande. Thank you, Adaranke, for the introduction. Um, yeah, so uh, just as Ronke said, uh, you know, when it comes to that, the Aqua token, uh, we is going to act as our store of value for the city of Atlantis. And uh, it's going to give us a great, great foundation to store value to support all the business activities throughout our entire ecosystem. But for me, um, right now, I'm working on the Pearls Reward System, uh, which is going to answer the question, you know, if this Aqua token is going to be appreciating the value so much, how are we going to be able to benefit from this? So this Pearls Reward System is going to answer that question because the investors, although you're not going to be able to hold the token, um, you're still going to be able to benefit from that price appreciation um, because of your ATO land of T. So this pros reward system, basically, it's the um, the store value for the investor, right? So um, the Aqua token, the um, Aquifer SV or Aquifer um, store value is the store value for the City of Atlantis project, but this pros reward system is the store value for the investor. So I'll be breaking down exactly how um, the investor will be able to benefit from all the transactions that take place throughout their entire ecosystem and how these um, this value will be funneled into the ATLRI debt um, so that the investors can benefit um, from the value that's being created in other places. Um, but this, um, this pros reward system, uh, I'm going to also break down exactly all the different funnels or um, where uh, revenue is actually um, being channeled to the ATL entity. And also I'm gonna talk about um, how we plan to um, appraise your ATL land of T's. And the reason this appraisal is very important because um, you know, you're gonna be able to actually sell your ATL land of T. And by us having an appraisal process, we can determine the value of that ATL land of T so that you know how much you'll be able to actually um, put these ATL land tees up for sale. And also um, this appraisal will also allow you to uh, allow us to determine um, how much of a loan we'll be able to extend to the investors once investors can um, begin to invest in businesses, um, once we reach that part of development. So uh, this is basically what I'm working on now, just this pros reward system so that everyone can understand how they're going to be able to benefit indirectly from all the transactions that take place throughout the entire ecosystem. So that's all. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Easy. So that answers a lot of questions on the minds of investors, because I did still mention today that, yeah, you'll be benefiting indirectly. How am I benefiting, Ronke? Tell me how am I benefiting? That is going to be uh, explained next week. So yeah, you want to look forward to that. Without further ado, we'll be going into the next line of conversation. Thank you so much, Easy, for that really quick uh, summary. And I'll just be doing a bit of an intro for uh, Shola and Xavier, just a quick round of basically laying the land for the conversation that they will be having. And as you can see on the screen, we see here, our beloved, our very precious, our very valuable um, Atlantis tokenized lands of the city of Atlantis. You will see here that this image is obviously contain the three types of lands, the yards, the plot, and the acre. And in the broadest sense, this three um, pieces of land of, of the city of Atlantis will be giving us access to these things. There are a lot more, but most of those things are kind of, um, they are inside these three functionalities here. And you see here that you have access to the ROI portal, you have key card into the city of Atlantis metaverse, and you have digital representation of the the COA metaverse. This third one is a given because, of course, Atlantis tokenized lands, it represents this, the lands of the city of Atlantis. And when the metaverse is built, it will be actually 
what is the land of the metaverse so if you're able to, if you're going to carve out any piece of land that piece of land you can be rest assured that it's represented by an nft by an atl nft that either belongs to the city of atlantis or its brother room of investors uh, as we've been taking everyone along on this journey we understand that the atlantis tokenized lands do give exclusive access to the atlantis tokenized land investment portal so that is another super exciting thing that the lands do or not anybody can get access only people who are actually engaged with the city of atlantis will be able to benefit from our investment portal and if even if you're going to be earning just a hundred percent above what you brought in, say, say for example, the max ROI within the investment portal is two hundred percent. It means that some work is being done to funnel that value into the system to ensure that all investors in the long term are able to get their ROI. So for that to be happening, it means that it's external injection of funds by external. That's a quoted statement external that is coming from sources outside the ROI that. And that just goes to say that there's work being done by the team at the city of Atlantis to ensure that these returns are payable, right? And all of this um, plus is only accessible for investors who have Atlantis tokenized land. And that is super amazing because this just goes to the fact that we have coined the city of Atlantis um, ATLs into the ROI DAP means that we're, we're creating everything in such a way that they are functioning together and it's just it's testament to the fact that nothing is going to be created to flop in this ecosystem because if you remove that piece from the ecosystem it kind of just affects a number of things so say for example you decide that uh, the ROI DAP will not be able to pay because that's that's a fear that a lot of uh, crypto users have right now yeah um you get into a DeFi protocol an ROI system and then maybe you just got in a lot of people got in earlier they've gotten paid they've gotten their money out but you just got in and then all of a sudden the thing crashes what we are communicating directly by plugging in this dap into our ATLs is saying that we are creating this thing we're going to we're going to do everything that is possible to make it work because the moment the ROI dap does not work great it means that a chunk of value has been taken out of what is the Atlantis tokenized lands and if value is taken out of Atlantis tokenized lands which are the fundamental assets the baseline assets of the city of Atlantis then indirectly value has been taken out of the entire project so just that is just being rest assured that these things are being created in such a way that they will work right so that's one thing and then on the in the broader sense on in the longer term it will be the key card to access the benefits of the city of atlantis metaverse so the entire framework of the metaverse has not been built yet we are not saying that it is only atlantis tokenized land holders that will have access to everything within the metaverse i mean who knows we might decide to open the metaverse up in such a way that uh, regular individuals will be able to access it but they will now be the consuming um side of the metaverse while the investors are actually the ones who are the investing side and the benefiting side more or less the owning side of the metaverse so when you say key card when you um see key card into the city of atlanta's metaverse don't just think that okay is it just land owners that are going to get access then what about all the other consumers what exactly is going to happen to them that's not it just means that it's a key card to all of the tremendous benefits that will be harnessed from the city of Atlantis metaverse, the commerce, uh, the commerce engagement in there, the entertainment engagement in the diffusion of these two uh, verticals. So that is something that is, if nothing excites you, this should. I mean, if the, if this doesn't excite you, then I don't know what will. <laughs> so that is something that is super super fundamental about the city of Atlantis, Atlantis tokenized lands. Without moving forward too much, I would now like to invite Shola, who is our chief product officer, to build on this line of conversation. Shola, please. All right. All right. Thank you, Adirunke, for the presentation and for reestablishing the value of Atlantis Technologies lands. Grand day, everyone. Um, for today's presentation, I will be speaking about Atlantis Tokenized Lands as a metaverse product. So Atlantis Tokenized um, Land App 
as a digital product, we are building it and developing it with certain perceivable characteristics put into consideration. We are building this product, um, we are building it in a way that would make it aesthetically appealing, um, emotive, innovative, functional, and all. My team um, at the background, we have continuously run tests, usability tests, to ensure this application is understandable, um, learnable, easy to navigate. And through our innovative approach, we constantly rework the dynamics of the traditional DeFi application, and we are modifying its working mechanics, adding new features to this application, basically engineering new utilities into the application. But while all this is ongoing, um, on the other end, we are also laying the foundation for the city of Atlanta's metaverse. And the word metaverse, most of the time, it conjures um, different meanings to different people. To some people, it's an immersive um, virtual reality experience with a persistent landscape. To some other people, it's just a specific um, technology stack. And to some people, it's a vision, a vision of the future. But in um, simple terms, I term the metaverse as um, a collective set of online connected experiences that one can have. Basically, it's the, the, the common thing is that users are connected to an online framework that permits live con content changes. It permits um, live social connection, also permits live monetization. And the key word here basically is, is um, life, like I've been explaining. So imagine a scenario where you're completing a money transaction right from your own, but you're doing this through an immersive experience. Um, the metaverse as a whole is basically a living multiverse of the world. So we, we are using the name multi in this uh, as a context here because uh, the creation of this digital product, that's Atlanta Tokenized Land App and um, the COA Metaverse, requires knowledge of um, that multidisciplinary. It requires knowledge of game design, game theory, architecture, behavioral economics, requires data analytics, require use, usage of databases, music, AI, um, interacting with GPUs, graphics, um, trying to improve the user experience while designing all this, the storytelling part of teams, software engineering, and hundreds of other talents. And as a team, all these are what we put together to deliver the amazing product and experience to you. So moving forward, I've established that we are building the Atlanta Tokenized Land App and currently we are laying the foundation for the city of Atlanta's metaverse. But while we are doing this, there is a need to integrate all our processes together. And this has brought about um, the need for us to experience digital pro process and digi digital products and all our development processes in a virtual environment. So in order for us to be able to achieve this, we are utilizing um, spatial and Spatia is a collective uh, computing environment that enables us integrate our designs, prototypes, and also embed links into um, an environment where users can easily interact with these links, get updates on every part of the protocol that we are building, create a, a pool of immersive content and development portfolio. Also, we are able to tell stories using this a platform and finally um, our team is able to col collaborate within this space so without um, some so without other explanation I'll be taking us through a quick demo just to show us a temporary special environment my team and I have been working on all right I believe we can all see um, this interface. 
So this is my avatar within the special interface. And this space was created basically for the soul of this presentation, just to showcase the functionalities that we can uh, make use of within special. So we didn't go into so much details in terms of interior and uh, designing the space because uh, we also have our custom environment, which will be presented soon by Xavier. And this environment basically allows us to integrate a number of things like our assets, um, clips, images, prototypes. So I'll be taking a walk um, around this space. We have uh, a few of gra the graphics of our NFTs embedded here and users can interact with them. Also, we have a few clips attached to this space where users can basically interact, just interact. Also, there is an introduction video um, for mobile automation attached to this environment. It is predicted that by 2053, the median wealth of black Americans will fall to zero. We're running out of time. What's the solution? Mobi Automation. Providing an innovative line of autonomous black businesses that generate passive income. Finally leading to the circulation of our dollar. Powering a new renaissance of black entertainment and commerce. Leading the chosen to real generational wealth. It is predicted that by 2053, the median wealth of black Americans will fall to zero. So aside this, we also have um, some, some of the prototypes of the products we are building. So basically, like I said, uh, we are creating a custom environment where we would be able to integrate the build out of all the products we'll be working on. Also, all the development processes we'll be having into um, this space. So we can also, we can as well um, think of this space as a portfolio environment where you get to see updates on everything that we are building basically. So um, for example, there is a link attached to this particular image that takes us to the current shells DAP. So you're able to directly link from the virtual world to the application. Also, uh, the, the prototype of the Atlantis tokenized land app, which we are currently working on, is also attached here. We can click on it and have a quick walk through the application. I'll be doing that now. All right, so like I always say, um, the content and the copy, the copies and the assets you're looking at are placeholders for now. These are just to represent what um, the thought process is like while we are building this particular product. And this page you're looking at is an onboarding page, is an intended onboarding page for the investment um, portal. Users are able to interact with the utilities of the invest investment portal and then uh, they are prompted prompted to peg their land NFT just the way um, I've explained this flow previously so you're able to see your the balance of your land NFT within your wallet and you're prompted to peg your land NFT right and then you're asked to start the ARA account and once you started you're faced with the investment portal where you can navigate from the deposit side to the vault side. And also, if you look at the menu bar, you are able to navigate from the investment side of things to the dashboard, to the marketplace, to the echo data page. 
And if I navigate to the marketplace, I'm able to see some information, just some details about what the marketplace is about. And then we have uh, a few collections based on the different NFT types that we'll be releasing. Also, uh, you can click through these various collections and see more details about the different NFTs we have within our system. And you can interact just uh, the way we do on our normal application to purchase land NFT. So this and some other integrations like integrating uh, a MetaMask wallet are things that we can do with the spatial platform. So for example, in terms of integrating the MetaMask wallet, once we integrate that into this application, we are able to read um, a user's balance from the spatial um, platform. And then with that, we can give access to a particular part of um, our custom environment. So let's say, for example, in our custom environment, there's going to be a vault room and the vault room is uh, an highly secured area which requires you to have a particular NFT in your wallet before you can get access to it. The enablement of um, integration of MetaMask into this platform has um, helped us make that process seamless, basically, because we can scan your wallet address, read your balance, and from there give you access to particular parts of our system within this um, space. So. Without um, further ado, I would be inviting Xavier to take it from here so that it would go deeper into the explanation of on our custom environment and also the progress we've made with the City of Atlanta's metaverse development. Thank you all for having me. While Xavier is getting ready, it's uh, we have 42 people in here. So if two more people join join us, we will be having Flip 44. So if you know someone who is supposed to be here, you can just quickly text them. It's a super exciting AMA anyway. No one should miss this. But you know, there's just that icing on the cake that if two more people come in, we will be having Flip 44. Xavier, are you ready for us? Yes, I am. Thank you, Rumpia. Right. Thank you. A lot. Um, let me just quickly share my screen so we can go over what we got. Okay, so Xavier, do you want to do a bit of an introduction? This is your maiden AMA. People want to get to know you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, grand day, guys. Um, thank you for joining in for today's AMA. Um, Xavier, Senior Architect at Mobi Automation. Today we'll be looking at Marina the Shore, which is a Mobi custom environment to be deployed on Spatial. So I'll be sharing my screen quickly so we can take a look at the sheets. Okay, can we all see the screen now? Yes. Okay, thank you, Ronke. Okay, so um, Marina the Shore. Uh, Marina the Shore is a custom environment with tons of technologies baked into it. Marina the Shore has been designed to serve as an archive gathering and active documentation hub. Other technologies and experiences baked into Marina the Shore are the VR enabled environment. This means that through spatial, Marina the Shore can be experienced in VR, and this sets the stage for a next level form of experience. AMAs, like what we'll be having tonight, will also be onboarded in Marina the Shore within the AMA auditorium. Also, the Wales Lounge will be onboarded into Marina the Shore with tons of activities like comedy clubs and other various exclusive activities for the Wales of Atlantis. Other more technical spaces within Marina the Shore will be the product showcase room and the tokenization room. 
The product showcase room will serve as the archive gathering space that shows design processes of all deployed assets and technologies relating to Atlantis tokenized lands and the city of Atlantis, just like Shola was explaining previously. The tokenization room, on the other hand, is an opportunity for artists to upload their art, music to ADA. They said art can be used as assets in adverts for businesses within the city of Atlantis. For example, an artist can upload a song in the tokenization room, and if a business owner engages with the asset for an advert, the artist gets remunerations based on the agreed contract. It could be forms of royalties or any other. Among these listed spaces, there are also more spaces within Marine of the Shore, like the development room, vision center, various galleries for commerce, culture and entertainment, and the transport hub. Just like the name indicates, Marinata Shore has a marina at the center of the piazza. The piazza is the first space seen when coming into Marinata Shore, right here. It is a public outdoor space that functions similarly to a city square. So it's like our little gathering spot um, right here. At the center of the marina, the High Council Pavilion is situated. The High Council Pavilion is for the 44 High Council Elders. So here is our High Council Pavilion. And right here we have um, a little plan for it with the 44 chairs and the central throne. Um, this is also a 3D of um, the High Council Pavilion. Given that the marina at the shore is located on an island, the design has four sub-levels, or you could say four basements. This was done to prevent an imposing five-story building on the Tranquil Island. The first two sub-levels have public and semi-public spaces, while the third and fourth sub-levels are entirely private, exclusive to only landowners. So right here, we could take a look at sub-level one. So when you come down from the piazza level, these are the stairs dropping you here in the lobby. We have um, an aquarium glass wall here. So the marina is still being experienced in the sub-levels, but it's like giving this feel. So you'll be having the views of um, seaweeds and um, fishes, sharks, well, um, in all sub-levels. So like I mentioned earlier, we have um, some of the galleries. We have gallery for culture, gallery for commerce, gallery for entertainment. Here's the tokenization room. Here's the dev room. And here's our AMA auditorium. So these are generally more um, public, semi-public spaces. So um, on the second sub-level, we have the vision center, the tube station, product showcase center, and the CA infrastructure center. And also we have um, the aquarium field for, from the marina with our glass here. Um, for sub-levels three, we have the Wales Lounge. So the Wales Lounge is going to be at the third sub-level. Um, and then from the Wales Lounge, we have elevators taking you down into the COA vault. So all exterior walls will be made of glass, giving you a complete panoramic view of um, the water around you while you're in the Wales Lounge COA vault or in any sub-level, to be honest. All exterior walls are glass, so you can see through them. Now we'll be going into Lumion, a real-time rendering engine to have a walkthrough for Marina to shore. Okay, um, the design for Marine Up the Shore is coming to its final stages. So what we'll be looking at um, in the next few seconds is not the finished product. It's more schematic like um, Aderonke mentioned earlier. Um, 
So this is Marinata shore and it's surrounded by water. Um, we have few glass stairs leading into the, um, the main piazza. And at the entrance here, we have um, two mermaid statues with water features behind them. And um, as we walk through the passage, we have some gold detail fins uh, right here. Um, the entrance itself is huge. Um, it's about 72 feet high um, for the guys in the house. It's pretty huge. So it really gives you an open feel into the, the shore. So we step down again into the piazza. Um, the piazza is serving as, like I said earlier, the city square. Um, with, um, Sorry to interrupt you, Xavier. Is this something that needs adjusting? Your screen is blinking. It was it was blinking. It is still blinking. Actually. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I think it's next one. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I've restored the resolution, so I think it should be fine, but... Um, I don't know. Right. It's still blinking a bit. Yes. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. So um, at the center of the marina, we have the High Council Pavilion. Um, okay. Um, so here we have the High Council Pavilion, um, and in here we have the 44 thrones for all the High Council elders. It's um, it's going to be a private space for meetings to happen and whatnot. Um, so back to the piazza, we have um, two stairs to the left and to the right of the entrance, and if we go down here, um, this is marked lobby. So yeah, remember the plans we looked at earlier. So this is where we'll be having um, the semi-public spaces that I mentioned earlier. Um, we also have the AMA odd at the end of the hallway here. And uh, when we go in, yeah, this is what so this is what the space very, looks like. It's blinking every other second. Now, do you maybe want to try leaving the call and coming back in? Let's see if it gets better. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Still the same. I'm so sorry, guys, about the technical difficulties on my end. Um, but yeah, so this is where we'll be having the AMAs. This is the AMA odd. And um, we'll be having glass walls on the perimeter. So it gives us um, a connected view with the ocean around. So um, if we come into the marina, the, we have two more sub-levels before the vault. So on the second top level, we have the tube station, we have the vision center. And at the third sub level, we have the whales lounge. Um, then from the whales lounge, we have elevators right here, taking us to the vault. So the vault has been situated lowest because of the security architecture required for it amongst the tech that will be put in place for it to be safe. Because here we'll be having, this is like a bank system here. So this is the vault for um, Marina at the Shore. Okay, so that brings the end to this walkthrough. Um, I'll quickly switch over to the next presentations we have.
Okay. Next stop, we'll be looking at the city of Atlantis and how it all connects. The city of Atlantis in the metaverse is categorized by three distinct features. One, data-driven design. Two, the VR enablement. And three, Unreal Engine. So what is Unreal Engine? Unreal Engine is a 3D CG engine developed by Epic Games. Unreal Engine is the world's most open and advanced real-time 3D creation tool for photo real visuals and immersive experiences. We'll be going through some sample work later tonight. Now for the VR. The city of Atlantis will be VR enabled, meaning landowners will be able to experience their island in a photo real environment. The trajectory of VR paired with the advanced mechanics behind Unreal will create a hyper-real and truly immersive environment. For the design of City of Atlantis, all landowners will have individual islands. All acre NFT holders would have islands. Plot NFT holders would have individual islands, but in clusters. The distance between all acre islands would be larger than the distance between all plot NFT holders. For yard NFT holders with plot clusters, nine yards will be joined to produce a plot owned by nine yard NFT holders individually. So here, we have an acre NFT holder in batch one and this outline this 2d design here is unique from every other island that will be designed so that's what the data-driven design means meaning for every um landowner will be creating a unique outline in 2d like we have here which will then be produced into 3d right here and at the 3d stage is where we'll be i think someone's mic Okay. okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so yeah, at the 3D stage, we will be having the shoreline added to it, so it's not eating into um, the particular size of your land. So for say, this person's one acre right here, um, you can still see the outline of that one acre, but we added a shoreline to the one acre, so you still have your beach front, so your entire one acre can be developed on, and the beach front is still there for the um, feel of it. So here we have a 3D environment um, finished with grass, trees, sand, and the shoreline, of course. So in summary, every landowner gets a unique 2D design transitioned into a 3D model, and finally, a 3D environment. And in cases where a landowner acquires more land, they can add the old and the new islands together to merge into one. So such requests will be happening at Marina the Shore in the dev room. So when you come to the dev room and you want to merge two islands, you can merge it together. We will recreate a unique 2D design for the set client and then model it in 3D and then have a 3D environment as well. Um, so, just to make sure we're all on board, um, Marina the Shore is HQ for where, where we'll be watching the development of the COA in the metaverse happen from. So, um, the uh, walkthrough we had earlier, will, that model, when finished, would be onboarded on spatial, and then from there, we'll be having our um, AMA, that we'll be having links to different um archives that we've, of work that we've done in the past. So, you know, it's like the upkeep, the archive guarding documentation where everyone could go to watch the city of Atlantis and the metaverse come to life, per se. So um, with that, we'll be rounding up today by looking at some um, sample 3D environments deployed in Unreal Engine. Um, 
Okay, so here we have um, um, a beach uh, view of, of an island with um, tropical trees assets and the tropical um, ocean in the background and, you know, the sand, of course, as a beach it is. So, you know, we have very um, good light reflections using nana using lumens which is an, an inbuilt software with unreal engine um all these assets we, we have um real-time rendered version so walking through the space in vr would be exactly like this and when we onboard sound you know and birds and all of that it's going to be very wholesome for um landowners um so here we have a sample this is a bird eye view of an island. So it's showing the fog, the detail that could go into models. So you have um, the beach front here, and then you have the landscape, you know, you have the trees and then you have birds and all of that. Um, so to conclude, we'll be watching a video to fully get the um, image of what Unreal Engine is actually capable of. We'll be watching a video of a showreel of Unreal Engine, um, so I'll be sharing that right now. Exit, I want to be sure. Are you okay? Great. The, the clips you are seeing that showing currently are samples of what our real engine is going to uh, enable us to achieve. Um, you can see how real the images, the graphics are coming out. It's almost, it's um, close as, it's, it's as close as possible to reality. Um, every detail is um, represented here from the details on uh, the different assets within the space, within the different environment, like the grasses, how the winds move, uh, the wind direction, run, um, sun, sunlight reflection, and all those things. Yeah, you can see that through this um, video, basically. It's just showing us um, the power of the engine we are using to develop uh, the metaverse. Yes. Um, That's why we're saying that yeah. this thing that we've seen tonight, uh, it's night here in Nigeria. Apologies if it's morning where you are. <laughs> the clips that we have seen from the VR build out right now, they are just, just see it as a first level. I mean, compared to what it will be, they are more or less like doodles of what the framework will be. So we still have a very long way to go in terms of bringing it to life, making it the actual city of Atlantis. And you can hear from my voice that I am super hyped. I mean, if a person told you that this was an actual movie, you would believe it because it looks as good as any movie. It looks as good as real life. And that is exactly what we are bringing to you. No cartoons in our metaverse. No, no 
I think that's the only word to say. To say that there are no cartoons in here. We are just going to be giving you hyper real features, hyper real engagement, hyper real immersiveness within the city of Atlanta's metaverse. I don't want to run on too much, but I want to ask Xavier instead if is that Xavier is that the final part of your presentation? Yes, it is. Thank you, Ronke. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, um, Xavier. Thank you very much, Shola. I mean, there is no need to go over anything they've said because I'm sure that we were all paying uh, rapt attention from the spatial side of things where uh, Shola just basically gave us what will be and then Xavier came in and showed us exactly what we are going to be placing on spatial. So see that spatial room, the spatial environment that Shola showed us as the house the housing environment and then all of these things that we are seeing uh being shown to us by xavier will be the things that will be put into spatial so something very fundamental that i mentioned that a, a very very prominent feature of everything that we're going to be having will be the marina de show which is a special onboarded hq where you will watch the development of the city of atlanta's metaverse it could also be an office where you would be able to put in all of your requests whatever kind of requests to so see it as an hq um for watching live what the developments are a place where you can get questions answered in vr a place where you can make requests you know whatever it is i want to say for example the um, what xavier mentioned earlier about if you bought land and then you want to do a merge of all of them together you can put in your request there and then that is where things will be processed from it's an exciting new world that we are creating here if you've not been excited about anything before now this should get your blood pumping all over again and this is really just the beginning unreal engine is unreal and i cannot wait for us i mean i can wait actually because we still have a lot of building to do but you get the point it's something that we are all looking forward to uh do we have any questions any comments maybe not even questions just comments as to the things we've seen Comments, comments, questions, any of that? Okay, well, okay, okay, go on. Hi, Christoph. Of course, of course. wondering a practical question how do you get around from islands to islands and within the city What's great the question okay so before now we had actually shown a bit of the schematics of what our transportation works would look like but i want for xavier to be the one to really go deep into answering that question xavier okay thank you christoph for the question yeah so um for um the city of atlantis majority of um, above water um, transportation will be done by boats from island to island and to, then to the city center eventually. But um, for every acre owner, you will be having a unique pod that lowers your vehicle into um, a tube system. Um, this tube system is going to be housing um, highway roads, it's going to be housing a train a train track is also going to be um, housing um, a compressed tube, which is like um, um, is like you could transport in that tube without forms of gravity. So you're moving super quickly. So that's for more distant travel. If you're going from like District One to District Eight, or from District Eight to the Sovereign Lands, and and so on and so forth. So we have um, multiple means of traveling. I mean, you could also travel by air, by helicopter if you have one in your island, and so on and so forth. So um, the the thoughts behind transportation are still in the schematic stages, but just know that um, we have a central tube that houses highway roads and tracks, just like the way you have tunnels going through um, mountains and going on the ground with um, trains and, and whatnot. So here we have one central tube, which is about 100 meters wide. Um, that's about, that's huge, super huge. So we have that, and then we divided it into 
different layers where the lowest layer is um, for trains because you know you need a track so it needs to be on the concrete core of the tube and then the next level is um, for cars and the level above that is for the Hyperloop 1 system that takes you quickly through so yeah that's it You're welcome, Krista. Thanks again for that question. Do we have any more questions and or comments? <laughs> Morpheus, that would be so funny. Anyway, that brings tonight's AMA to a close. Uh, if you have questions later on, please know that the group chats are always open and Answers will be provided. Next week, we come in here to hear all about pearls, how you're going to be able to benefit from the pearls aqua relationship and just the expanded uh, liquidity management system within the city of Atlantis. Thank you so much for coming on. Looking forward to having you all here next week. Until then, ciao. <laughs> <laughs>